got an AC not cooling here. Compressor's way hot to the touch, so what I want to do is show you how to pack this in nice and cool it down. Nothing's running. The fan motor's not running. Compressor's not running, but the compressor is definitely overheated. I suspect that the fan capacitor is bad, and so the fan motor's not kicking on. I've got a video showing how to secure this fan capacitor, so you can check that out, how to make this a little safer. But anyway, I wanted to show you how to get this going if your compressor was overheated. I've already pulled the disconnect. As you can see back here, there's the disconnect. Fuses are probably bad also. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds the charge in it even after the power is disconnected. So holding my insulated screwdriver, I'm gonna bridge the leads to the capacitor and that way it's gonna discharge any charge that's still held in there. And then I can go ahead and pack the compressor in ice here to cool this thing down. And this is about the fastest way to cool this down, to run cold water and just pack it in ice get it cooled down. So I'm just going to put my ice water deals. I just kind of keep my freezer full of ice and ready to go in case this happens. So I can get these cooled down faster. Some people use a garden hose and run it over the top. I used to do it that way. It takes a long time. This way, 15-20 minutes, we get this thing cooled down and ready to run again. So now that we got that on there, we go ahead and pour some cold water and go ahead and start to cool this off just a little bit at a time. Again, I suspect the fan capacitor was bad. I can go ahead and plug the disconnect in and check that out there. It's also possible that it shorted the breakers inside the unit, but I have some new fuses. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the fuses out here just now starting to get warmer out here. It's probably 95 degrees today. So with these fuses, just pop them out like so. And then our new fuses, and make sure everything's tight here. If need be, we can tighten these up with the common screw. Press our new fuses into place and make sure those are tight. Okay, everything's tight there. So now we're ready to plug this in. Okay, and I'll go ahead and plug it in and see what happens at my unit. Okay, the, comp the uh, deal gave a sound like it was trying to start. I don't know if you heard the buzzing sound, but the fan motor did not kick on. So I'm, my guess is that that's the fan capacitor. It could also be that the fan's bad, or it could also be that the fan itself is overheated. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out the fan capacitor. So we've pulled our disconnect. Again, I'm gonna discharge the capacitor. Again, holding only the insulated portion of the screwdriver. And then I'm gonna neutralize both capacitors, discharge both of them. Like so, and again, I'll secure this capacitor a little bit later. You can see my video on how to secure a dangling capacitor uh, later if you wanted to. But for now, it's a matter of getting this thing going. Our compressor is still hot, so it's not starting. And that could be a number of things. It could be a bad capacitor for the compressor. It could also be a shorted compressor. It could be burned wiring. It could be a bad contactor. The capacitor does look a little bit tired. The hard start kit looks a little bit tired too. But I kind of think it's just the overheated compressor. So again, it does feel hot to the touch. And usually it doesn't get hot to the touch unless, unless it's able to get power to it. So go ahead. We've got our new fan capacitor there. Again, I put some more water on the compressor. I think that we're just gonna need to let it sit for about 15 minutes, but I really wanna see if the 
fan motor itself is going to start with the new capacitor. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the disconnect. And if the fan starts but the compressor doesn't kick on, then I'll go ahead and disconnect it again and let the compressor cool down. So here goes. So now I'm going to pull the disconnect, I'm going to discharge the capacitor, I'm going to let the compressor cool down, and then everything should start as normal. Uh, the compressor is overheated due to the fan motor uh, stopping due to the capacitor going bad. As we can see with the new capacitor, it started right up. So now it's just a matter of cooling down the compressor, getting the unit started up, and I'll go ahead and secure that dangling capacitor make the unit a little bit safer, a little bit better. Okay, so now our ice has been on our compressor for a while. Things seem pretty cooled down. Go ahead and dump a tiny bit more water on. And we're gonna go ahead and fire this up and see if it turns on. Let's come over here to the disconnect. And we're gonna listen for the fan to kick on as well as the hum of the compressor. And there it is. Compressor kicked on. So now what we're going to do is stay with the compressor for a while and make sure everything gets nice and cold. It's already flashing pretty cold. I'm pretty sure all it was was our fan capacitor was bad, which caused the compressor to overheat. So it's a pretty easy, easy repair. Now just a matter of cleaning everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and get all my bottles and everything out of here. Made this unit a little safer, a little bit better. It's flashing nice and cold on this side. This side is still kind of catching up. This here is our accumulator. And the entire accumulator feels nice and chilly. It's just catching up on the back side here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be good there, but I'll stay with it for a little while. We'll go ahead and put our cover on clean things up here. We've got our compressor cover on down there. Everything's like it should be. Secure capacitor. Made things a little bit safer. Still waiting for the backside to get cold here. There it goes, starting to feel it. Starting to get chilly. Get a chilly. Probably just make sure our fan baffle screws are all nice and tight. Oh yeah, flashing ice cold now. Nice and cold. So we're good to go. That's all it was, was that needed a new fan capacitor. It burned out. Our charge is, is good. So we're all set there. Good to go.